Hi, I'm Casey Gray, powerless against the color yellow, and this is D&D Expertise, episode 21. This video is brought to you by Raycons because I was wearing them when I made it. Do the players fear the villain? Do they hate the villain? Do they want to spend a romantic evening with the villain? That's right, despised villains are out and desirable villains are in. When considering what keeps the villain alive in the presence of the party, you could go with invincible armor or contingency spells, but have you considered soft lips? Creator of the Warlock D&D audio drama and person with good ideas, Zachary Burrell on Twitter suggests, DM pro tip, if you don't want your players to kill the BBEG, reveal that they are super hot. Nobody feels bad killing a beholder or an illithid, but if you start talking about flowing locks of hair, rippling pecs, or a sculpted ass, they might think twice. If your villain gives them some kind of gift or makes their acquaintance before they know who he is, then that character will first and foremost be that great guy who is charming and smelled like cinnamon. Be careful, because if you pair a bad guy the players are fond of with a rational philosophy or legitimate grievance, the party might end up switching sides altogether. When you think about it, Trying to explode the king or cover him in bees is actually kind of valid when compared with enabling a patriarchal monarchistic society built on generations of unchecked power and inequality. Plus, did I mention how good his ass looks? 